welcome to today's session so today we are focusing on question 11 of the 2021 grade 12 gce mathematics paper one so we've done the first 10 questions in uh, uh, five parts so let us look at question 11. so question 11 the diagram below shows the position of towns a b and c on the earth's surface n a c s is the prime meridian or GMT a ship takes 26 hours to travel from B to C a distance of 1516 nautical miles find the speed of the ship in knots so generally we know that speed is equal to distance covered over time distance covered over time so in this case we've been given the distance is equal to 1560 divided by the time is 26 hours so basically what you notice here is again they're just assessing a bit to deal with these big numbers so what is key is to start small so divide 26 by 2 you get a 13 okay then 13 2 into 15 so 2 into 15 is basically you are getting uh, basically uh, 7, okay, remainder 1. 2 into 16 is 8, so you have this. Then 13 into 78, so we know 13 multiplied by 5 is 65. 65 plus 13 is basically 78, so we have 6. Multiply by this 10, so we have 60. So basically, we have 60 nodes as our answer so basically this is how quick you can get this free one mark so this is question a so let us go to question b so question b leads if the local time at a okay which is 60 degrees north is 10 30 hours find the local time at b find the local time at b so b is uh, on the latitude what's the latitude 30 degrees south but longitude is 30 degrees west then a is on the prime meridian so when you're finding the time difference latitude they don't matter so two two towns can lie on different latitudes but as long as they're on the same longitude the time will be the same okay the time will be the same so it's the longitudes that we use to measure the time difference so now the time the, the time at A, which is east of B, is 10 hours. So west is behind, okay, and it's 30 degrees behind. So remember, how many hours make, one, uh, how many degrees make one hour? So it's 360 divided by 24 hours the S takes to rotate complete, to complete the 360 rotation. So we have... Uh, 24 into 24 into 12 into 24 is a, is a 2 12 into 360 is a 3 2 into 30 is 15 so 15 degrees is equal to 1 hour makes 1 hour so it's the same place but we are going to use in this case so the difference in latitude is 30 one is on 30 west the other one is on the prime meridian which is 0 so to find the time difference it will be 30 degrees difference minus or not minus divide by 15 we get two hours so two hours is difference so since b is the west of a so b is behind so it will be 10 hours 30 minutes minus two hours so we end up with 0 8 30 hours is the time at b so basically this is how you answer question b okay so um let us try to answer question 12. So question 12, let me just uh, create space so that we have enough space. So let us just create space so that we have, we have enough space for us to work on. So, so question 12 leads, the mass M of a bag of maize is 62 kg to the nearest kilogram complete the statement in the answer space so answer a so this mass is between 
is equal to m is equal to or less than so again in this case we're trying to find the absolute error so what's the absolute error? so so the absolute error in this case it will be half the least unit of measurement that's normally the formula half the least unit of measurement so in this case what's the least measurement of unit here it's a kg so half of the kg because we only have 62 kg so it's one one kg uh, difference so what you do is we have basically um half multiplied by the least unit which is in this case one kg so after that we get a 0 0.5 kg so 0 0.5 kg is absolutely error so it's an error above or below the measurement so so to get the 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 to, to answer a what we get is basically we're going to get 64 62 plus 62 not plus we start with minus as the lowest value so minus this difference which is 0 0.5 m or uh, 65 62 sorry plus a point five so we get basically 61.5 62.5 so 62.5 is not part of the solution because 64 62.5 if you round it off to the nearest own number it will be 63 hence we are not including the equal part here but here 61 if you round it off to the nearest own number it will be 62 so basically this is how you answer one party a so basically remember to find the absolute error that you need is to say half multiplied by the least unit of measurement so if it was 62.5 the least unit of measurement was going to be a point 0 0.1 you multiply by half which was going to be 0 0.05 so i'm going to add and subtract 0 0.05 okay let us go to question b question b a woman estimates the weight of her dog to be 13.15 kg. The actual weight of the dog is 10 kg. Find the percentage error. Percentage error. So when you look at the percentage error, so the percentage error in this case, when you are saying you need to know again uh, the absolute error. So the percentage error in this case is given by basically is absolute error over uh, basically the uh, the actual where absolute error is given by the observed minus the actual. So in this case, what is observed? So the woman in this case has measured thirteen point one five kg as the observed. When the actual is 10 kg, so minus a 10 kg. So we end up with she's off target by above by 3.15 kg. Okay, so she has over uh, estimated by 3.15 kg. So that's the absolute error. So to find the percentage error in this case now, it will be therefore 3.15 over 10, which is the actual multiplied by 100%. Which will give us basically 31.5 percent. So 31.5 percent as our answer. Okay, 31.5 percent. So just create space. 31.31.5. So basically, this is how you answer this question.